Harbor Freight, Altus, Oklahoma, September 23rd, bat inspection. So you're looking at approximately 24 feet from the ground up to the ceiling. So this is gonna be the west wall. Store entrance is here. So you have a sheetrock here. I will look on the inside. Along the roof line, looks like there's about a three to four inch gap. So I'm on the north here, and I'm gonna walk towards the south. So here, there's where the beam connects to the center block. That is where bats have been witnessed entering and exiting. Um, very, very large gap there. Probably at least the width of a center block and the height. Then you have a continued gap all the way along the top of the roof uh, in excess of six inches. Harbor Freight out to Oklahoma bat inspection. This will be the south wall, approximately 24 feet from the floor up to the top of the wall. There you have a corrugated type ceiling. There appears to be no backer rod along the fire seal. Looks to be about a six inch by a four inch gap. Comes along, you have a boxed out portion here. Appears to be no fire seal along there. I'm continuing east along the south wall. Still appears to be no type of backer rod, no type of fire rod on this wall. That appears to be sheetrock on this side of a cinder block. Should be a cinder block wall all the way up. Sheetrock. As you continue along the south wall, now I come into a jut out of what would be headed towards the east wall. Still continues to be no type of backer along. This would be one of the office break rooms, has drop ceiling inside of this. Continue on along the south wall headed east still appears to be no type of backer now we come to the east wall so this is going to be that break room and the bathrooms are going to be to the west as you can see where it connects to the store there's several holes going around the perimeter this would be looking back to the south along the south wall there's still an open gap along that wall um, unfortunately, I don't know how you would get through the drop ceiling to seal that. I guess it would be possible to come through this area, go straight up to and through the bathrooms, but it's going to be very, very difficult. You may be able to exclude this from the store, but will still allow bats to be above this drop ceiling. Now that's going to be a pain if you got to exclude that wall there. So this is the south wall. This is going to be the east wall. It runs north and south. This is the back of the store and the storage room. Uh, as you can see, you probably got a four inch diameter hole there and the sheetrock going back. Now this goes back into a loading dock area. So there's something on the back side of this. So still open edge quite a bit all the way along. Some sort of metal box. I don't know if that's a dropout for the ceiling. That would need to be sealed. So all of that connects to this area. Uh, 
So what I don't understand is, is where's all of this space on side? Like what is this? So this can be the, the loading dock door. Uh, appears to be sealed fairly good. Fairly tight to the cinder block along the back. Seems to be no gaps. There are some feces up here. Appears to be good and tight to the door. There is a small air gap here. I can see a slight gap on the back side of the door. I'll take a good look from the outside later. Harbor Freight out of Oklahoma, September 23rd. This is going to be the north wall. So here we are in the very back of the store. We're gonna be east headed west. Again, you have sheetrock against cinder block. Uh, there appears to be no backer there. Um, so as I continue heading west, I kinda of make my way through this little loading dock area. All of those small gaps are included on the measurements we provided for the south wall. Harbor Freight, September 23rd, bat inspection. So this is going to be the north wall. Uh, so starting along the north wall, I'm in the back room. This is going to be the east wall here. We're going to head north as we come along this little room. Appears to be sheetrock mounted to cinder block. Appears to be no backer along there. No sort of fire seal along that. Probably about a six inch wide by a four foot tall, four inch tall gap. So as I make my way out of this loading dock storage room, going west, there is fiberglass insulation stuffed into the voids, but it does not appear to be enough to ever stop a bat. So all of that would need to be shoved back in, replaced, or resealed, but definitely not adequate for bats. Hmm. 233 feet for this wall and of course it goes into this office area of manager's office stops here and then the area you're looking at where it hits the west wall is where the manager's office is and I haven't been in there yet but I'm assuming it's going to be drop ceilings inside of there This is going to be the area on the west wall above the entrance. You have about a 14 foot large gap. So along with that beam energy, you have a very large gap. That's where the bats are being sent, coming and going. And then next to it, you have about a six inch by 14 foot long gap all the way across, which stops there to about a four inch by 10 foot gap. Inside the store we have about five central heat and air units coming in. We'll start numbering them starting here left to right as I work my way back. One, two, three, four, and then five. So here's number one. Very large, at least 10 to 12 inch gaps all the way around. Large gap in between the units would be difficult to access.
again, large gaps around the central heat and air units. Random hole next to it. Six to eight inch gap there. Trying to get the camera to pick it up there. There is a gap between the central heat and air unit in between the two. Again, another difficult area to reach. I'll get you a measurement, let me pause this. So continuing back on these units, I would say they're about six foot wide, six by six at the, at the ceiling. So you would need 24 feet to seal off each one. This would be unit number three. Very large gaps, over 18 inch gaps. Uh, one of them obviously is a plenum box, so you'd have a hard time sealing that, so I would suggest sealing the entire area from there to there, there to there, all the way around. Here again we have another set of units. Six to eight inch gaps all the way around. Gaps in between the units. So I would estimate each one of those units, you know, about four foot by four foot around. Large gap there, up to six to eight inches. Needs to be sealed all the way around. There's another unit over here. Again with this unit, also very large gaps. Uh, gaps in between that'll be very hard to access. Very, very large gaps on this back side of this unit. So let's see, that's unit number one. That'd be five. Actually unit number five. Number four. three, two, and then one. So, appears to be no, get no fire seal all the way across. So this entire south wall would need to be seen. Harbor Freight, this is inside the office. The offices are separated, so there's an office on that side, and then there's a wall here. And as you can see, there are some gaps in here. So this would be the west wall. So you continue with those very large gaps along the top of the wall. So you could seal the office from the rest, but I don't know how you would seal those gaps out. You'd have to find a way to get a ladder up through the drop ceiling. It'd be very difficult. I'm gonna have to pop a ceiling panel in that room too, Dad. This is where the office is connected to the other room. I was just right over there. Uh, still, you got the large gaps where the concrete block tie into the roof ties. <laughs> 